His last school board meeting was in October when trustees voted to end his contract early. But CCSD Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jar will be back tomorrow night for his very first school board meeting since that vote was reversed. And Kim, he is coming back in a big way, pushing a controversial agenda item. Yeah, that's for sure. So it seems the division on the board of seven will continue with Jara's return. They are split four to three. But Jara has a majority of the board on his side, four of the seven trustees, and he will need every one of them to get a controversial item on the agenda passed. Yeah, it boils back to the fundamental issue is, do you trust your principals enough to make decisions? Lindsay Daly with the Moapa Community Educational Advisory Board says with a district as large as CCSD, rural schools have different needs. All of our principals in Moapa Valley, uh, Overton Logandale and Virgin Valley have been meeting with the district for months. Those rural schools asked for the ability to choose their own groundskeepers so district crews would not have to drive out from Vegas. The idea is now part of Dr. Jara's agenda item. When it showed up on the agenda, there's all this other stuff that are added to it. And so the principals now are, are feeling like they got taken for a ride. Dr. Jara's agenda item has four different sections, all having to do with transfer of responsibility between schools and the district. As much as we would like that agenda item, it's the first part of number three, because it would really benefit us. And as much as we've worked for this for over four years, uh, we cannot in good conscience say, well, give us the choice, but let's take everybody else's choice away. That is just not honest and forthright. Daly says he was surprised by Dr. Jara's item posted on the school board agenda even before Dr. Jara announced he would stay with the district. This is the last line. Discussion and possible action on the transfer of responsibility for all remaining responsibilities currently transferred to schools under a service level agreement from schools back to central office is recommended. It's just absolutely catas catastrophic because it removes all choices from all schools. Daly says the move may also not be legal. AB 469 passed by the state in 2017 mandates schools in Clark County have the authority to carry out certain responsibilities, not the central administrative staff. State legislature knew this. That's why they passed AB 469 twice. You have to trust your principles. And that is essential to a well-functioning district. And they don't. And the school board members are not allowed to publicly comment on agenda items ahead of a possible vote. That will happen tomorrow, possibly. We expect to hear Dr. Jara's argument for these changes tomorrow night. The school board meeting gets underway at 5 p.m. and Fox 5 will be there.